Welcome to Yung Tuition. Let's continue to talk about the wave equation today. Last time, I showed that how to use a sine function to describe the plane wave in space. In physics, we always use uh, uh, the basic law in physics is always written as a differential equation. Okay, now let's do that. How to find the differential equation for electromagnetic wave. First, let's uh, write the uh, wave equation we obtained last time. So for electromagnetic wave, we can use the E, the electromagnetic field strength as a variable, as a function as a space and a time. And last time, we derived this uh, simple sine function to describe a plane wave. A sine two pi divided by lambda multiply x minus omega t. Now, we are going to find the relation, same relation among the variable, but in the differenti differential, differential equation form. So what can we do? Well, we simply do the first derivative. In this case, because they got two variable, we will say it's a partial derivative. So the partial derivative as function with respect to the, uh, the, the, the x can be written as partial derivative e it's called a dot x dot x. This just emphasize there are two variables. So you can use exactly the same method to work out the first derivative. Just bear in mind, in this case, T is treated as constant. So if you just put the two pi outside, I got, uh, because first derivative will be cosine, there'll be a cosine, there'll be a cosine two pi lambda x minus omega t. If we use a chain rule, we got the fact over here, two pi lambda. That is the first derivative. And the second derivative, you will see that we can simplify the second derivative because of the nature of the trigonometry, a sine and a cosine function. So uh, we have, if this, this is called the second partial derivative. Then we've got additional factor, two pi, but in addition, we've got a negative sign due to the first derivative of cosine. So we got uh, a sine two pi lambda x minus omega t. Now, if you compare with uh, the original equation, we know that this part is E. So this part is actually the E. So we can write, we can rewrite this, uh, we can simplify this expression as R because we got uh, a square here, that's, that's very important. We got uh, two pi over lambda square, multiply the E. So this is a second partial derivative with respect to X. Similarly, we can do partial derivative with respect to the time. And uh, in this case, uh, the result almost the same, except that uh, they have take this uh, negative sign here. So that would be omega multiply a sine, so cosine, 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 two pi divided by lambda multiply x, minus omega t, okay? So this negative sign come from here, okay? Let's continue to do the second derivative. 
Why? Because uh, we are looking for pattern so that we can find the uh, relation uh, between different uh, partial derivative. So if we can build the, uh, uh, the, uh, par uh, to the partial derivatives, then that would be the differential equation we are looking for. So the second derivative, the second partial derivative with respect to the time, just continue that. We have to, uh, again, we have to use a factor here, omega square. And because uh, the, they have a three negative sign here, after we do the first derivative of, uh, of the cosine, we got, uh, we got uh, sine two pi lambda x minus omega t. So we still got a negative sign. Okay, we got a three, we got a three negative one. So this we still have the negative sign here. Okay, aha, this is also the e, you see? So in this way, we can write the second partial derivative with respect to the time as omega square multiplied e, okay? So this pertention to this, uh, this pertention to these two equations. So one is a second equation, another is a fourth equation. If you combine them together, so if you just divide, can we just divide these two equations? So if we just, uh, if we just divide these two equations, we got uh, delta, the second derivative with respect to the uh, space divided by second for partial derivative with respect to the time. So we just divided the two equation. So this, the E canceled, okay, E canceled. And uh, what we have left is that uh, two pi, we have two pi square, we have two pi over lambda square and divided by omega square, okay? So if you, if you rewrite this one, so if you rewrite this constant, you will find the, uh, uh, you find that you can rewrite this as a lambda square. And uh, if you rewrite omega as a two pi multiply frequency, then we got F square and the two pi, two pi square will cancel, will be canceled. So that is simply by using this uh, uh, relation between angular frequency and frequency. All right, so what is a lambda? What is a lambda multiply F? Here we use another simple equation. That is that the speed, in this case, we're talking about electromagnetic wave, the speed light speed is equal to the product of the wavelength and the frequency. So this two ratio is simply as one over C square. C is the speed of light. C equal to three multiply 10 to the power eight meters per second. That is a light speed in the vacuum. So that will give us a, a very important equation. Can we just, if you just combine this, that in this way, we can obtain the wave equation. That is, uh, so if you, the first set partial, can we, do we have enough time here? I think so. So delta, the second partial derivative, uh, with respect to the space x were equal to one over c square multiply the second partial derivative with respect to the time. So this is the relation between the two partial derivative and it is called uh, the wave equation in the uh, differential form. 
in history, and uh, Maxwell first derived this, uh, uh, this expression. I think it's not necessarily Maxwell. Everyone, because mathematically, you will, you will find that uh, this wave equation uh, is the same as the wave equation for sound. So in textbook, we, we often said that uh, Maxwell predict, uh, you know, the electromagnetic wave and uh, from his four equation, well, it, it is partially right. But uh, if you just merely looking for the differential equation for the wave, and uh, you will find that this form of wave uh, can be, this, is, this uh, differential equation can also be used to describe the sound, the earth wave, earthquakes, other, other water wave, any mechanical wave can also be uh, described, except the, the wave speed uh, are different. Okay, I will stop here. Have a good day and goodbye.